I was lucky. Ah, uh, cause all these nations are gonna be devastated. Okay, but by, by the by the second return of our Lord and Savior Yahusha, cause they, they never knew Yahusha. They thought they knew him, but that was not Yahusha. That was another, okay, another Savior. Okay, a pastor, pastor is okay, okay, image of the Lord that which they received. A pastor is pastor is our name which they received. It was gonna be, it was gonna be the end result, judgment. Okay, even those who, who know, those of you who know Yahusha, his name is that is being Yahusha. Okay, you know that he was an Israelite, he came back for the Israelites. Guess what? There, there's gonna be those of you which are gonna be rejected upon his return. Alright? Because you were never uh, teaching and preaching the gospel of repentance in truth. Alright? So, this whole notion of the, 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 the Lord upon his rest, second return, is gonna be saving every single, single person it is a lie, it is a hoax. Just like, just like uh, the Holocaust is, okay, it's all a big lie, a big fat lie, okay, it's uh, Luke, you know, let's get this in the mail. let's get this one in the book of Matthew. Get this one in Matthew. So uh, Matthew. So uh, Matthew chapter chapter thirteen. Uh, verse, verse 13, verse, uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse, uh, verse, verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Very I speak unto you. Says, says, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Uh, and he said unto them, unto them, Because it is given and because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them is not is not given. So there are those who have been given the opportunity to know. Uh, the mysteries of the kingdom, okay, alongside the mystery of the Gentiles, who these Gentiles are, okay, and what is the end of Esau, Edom, and who's good, and, and what is going to befall these nations, their judgment, they're not going to be our employees, that's not going to happen, we're not going to have a contract, okay, with no Hamite, no, no Jephite, no Ishmaelite, no Moabite, Elamite, you name them all, okay, we're not going to have, we're not going to have to draw our contracts for these nations, Alright, they're gonna submit to our power. Okay, they're gonna submit and become our slaves. Alright, for a thousand hardcore bondage. Alright, and then hey, they're gonna have they're gonna be divided among themselves. But guess what? They're gonna be abiding by the laws, the commandments of your Shai. Alright, then we're gonna chuck them out. Alright, just like when you read the you know, what is that in Judith? Uh, when you because these nations they know that what happens to us when we, when we are in good terms of our power everything everything is all well but immediately when we go astray hey nothing but pure judgment follows okay but guess what that, well, what is coming what is what is about to be established by your nations man you know hey you you're going to be under us all right you're going to know what what it's like okay to not keep these laws that the commandments of the Father are hundred percent to go off. You're gonna know what it's like. Because we're gonna be there the first hand, okay. At the crime scene. Guess what? Every, every, every crime you commit, we're gonna be there to judge you. There, there will be no more the perverting of judgment. Alright. It will be it will, it will be all the uh, the thing of the past. Alright, Matthew was it was uh, Matthew thirteen. Uh, Matthew 13 says, uh, But he answered unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them is not given. Okay, who the Gentiles are, what is what is what is about to be for the nations, okay, what is the what is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip mark marker chip. Okay. In different lands they call in the different nations, some nation they call it the NFC tag. Uh, that is the mark of the beast. These are the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Okay. 
what the law looks like, what the Father looks like. It's all about a mystery unto the, unto the masses. Okay. That's why Yahweh says, says, look, I thank thee, O Father, okay, that you have revealed these things unto babes. All right. It says, uh, for, for whosoever have, to him shall be given, and to him that, that have more abundance. It says, uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 12 says, whosoever have, to him shall be given. Okay. It says, uh, and he shall have more, more abundance, but whosoever have not, from me shall be taken away, even that he have. Hey, make make use of make, make use of what has been given unto you. This with the knowledge and understanding from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? This is not that this is not the time to be gathering uh, these heavy worthless stones. Cast them away, man. Take the true worthy uh, yoke, which which is worthy, okay, only for the elect to bear. Okay, if you are of the elect. Okay, take heed that no man uh, spoil you by any means. Yeah. All these vain philosophies. Scriptures, scriptures goes into the covers every single thing. Every single corner is all covered by the word of Yahweh. There's perfect wisdom, knowledge, and, and understanding in the old scriptures. Alright. So therefore speak, says, uh, therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see, they see not, hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. Because he was out there, Yahweh Personally, physically, they saw him. Okay, they, they heard him speak, but they still will not listen. They still will not understand. Because why? Well, because they've been blinded from the start. The sheep will, only the sheep will hear the voice. This is St. John 3. Uh, this is St. John. Uh, it's the book of St. John, chapter 3, verse uh, 7, 17. Uh, this is St. John chapter 3, verse 17, 27. It says, uh, St. John chapter 3, verse 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing but except it be given to him from heaven. Or uh, whatever understanding you may be able to receive, it, is all, it all comes from Yahweh uh, Hashem it, it is not of our own. It says in Korean things, We are not of our own for the first, in the first place. We belong unto Yahweh Hashem We're supposed to glorify the Most High in our bodies because we will be bought with a price okay so we better uh, make use of that time make no terror to turn to the lord all right this is that time to seek the face of your how about shimmy all right this is that time st john uh was it it's lucky all right john chapter 3 verse 20 27 uh, John answered and said, "The man can receive nothing except be given to him from heaven. All right. It all comes from on high. We can't stand all here, all hours and hours on ends, trying to make you understand the simple thing that the Lord was a so-called uh, uh, black man. Okay, he was a dark-skinned man who came out of the tribe of Judah, out of the nation of Israel. We can't stand for hours and hours and still not see them. A basic thing. There's no such thing as basics in the truth, anyway. What? Because it's not many wise, no, okay, not many noble have been called to know the truth of Yahweh Alright, so let's get that one in. Let's get, let's get this, okay. Let's get this, okay. Let's get this, okay. Oh, it's the book of Romans. So Romans chapter 3 verse 3 says, For, so for what if some do not believe, shall they not believe, make the other uh, faithful the most out without uh, effect? Alright, because well, it's not going to affect anything, your disbelief. Okay, second verse 15. Second verse, let's get this in second verse. Alright, because these are the times that we're heading into. The second verse chapter 15. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 1 says, Behold, I uh, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in their mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them be written in a paper in paper for their faithful truth. It says, Fear none of the 
imaginations against thee. Let, says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That speak against thee. Huh? Okay, I'm not supposed to be bothered about all of them. Okay, the incredulity that they disbelieve. Huh? Be not bothered by them. Okay, because all the unfaithful will what? Eventually they all want to die in their unfaithfulness. Also, if it's not of faith, is what is sin. That's what the scripture says. So that for the mere fact that you don't believe, okay, in Yahweh, in the name of in the name of Yahweh, or Yahweh Shah, hey, you just guarantee you, you, yourself death right there, punishment for not believing. For also if it's not a faith, is what is sin. Uh, so uh, for what if somebody don't believe, shall they unbelieve make the faith the most high for effect, most high for good? Hey, let let the most high be true, but every man a liar. It is written that thou mayest be justified. In thy sayings and mothers overcome and thou judge. But guess what? The left are going to work. You're going to be always be blameless. It is going to be made manifest when the Most High, okay, when He brings judgment upon all you scoffers, okay, you all disbelievers, when judgment comes forth. Then shall you know that the prophets have been truly been among you. Okay, it's going to be made known. Ezekiel, alright. Okay, it's the book of Ezekiel, chapter. Ezekiel. So Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 10 says, Also thou son of man, uh, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of thy uh, of the houses. And they speak everyone to another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray thee. He says, I pray you, and hear, and hear what is the word that coming from the Lord. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they and they seek. Okay, it says, and they see uh, before thee as my people, and they hear uh, their words, but they will not do them. For with uh, their mouth they show, they show much love, but their, but their heart goes after their covetousness. Uh, these are what these are the pretenders. Okay, these smooth speakers, these, these smooth tongue, okay, bastards. Uh, they hear the words that comes from the Alba Shin to a certain to a certain extent they acknowledge these are the men of the Lord. Yeah, the most has true dealing with you, the apostles, elders. But guess what? They, they're not doing shit. Okay, the same men that they were before they came across the, the servants of Yahabah Shin the same men they still are. For years and years, for months and months going on. Alright, says so Ezekiel chapter 33, verse uh, 32 says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. As one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear their ways, but they do them not. Or the same, the same thing we see happening continuously. They hear what, what, what judgment, the warnings that are coming from Yahweh Hashem Shah, but they're still ignorant. They don't want to listen. They don't want to change their lives around and dedicate their lives into saving Yahweh Shah. They don't want to do that, huh? Because their hearts, they, it's all after covetousness. All after covetousness. So the Lord thou to them as a very lovely song, as one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear their word, ah, their words, but they do them not. And when it come to pass, lo, it will it will come, then shall they know that there have been a prophet among them. Then will you know. Okay. Then will you know. But it's gonna to be too little too late. Okay. Because the moment the chariots appears on, on on the sky. The moment the implementation of the RFID chip comes in, race wars kicks off, concentration camps, that's it. The doors of repentance hey, will be closed. Okay, will be closed. Once the internet gets shut down, because a lot of you are going to start waking up in that time, when you start to realize the feminine, here's the feminine of the way. No more social media. A lot of you, you gonna, it's going to start there. Okay, it's gonna start right there. Just you wait. Right. Uh, just you wait. You wanna you wanna know that the prophet prophets have been among you. You wanna know it in that time. Alright. So uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33 says uh 
It says, uh, and it says, and when this comes to pass, Lord, it will come. Meaning, what is is a guarantee fact that World War Three is going to come. Okay, the global uh, implementation of the mark of, of the cashless system, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, is going to be is going to be made mandatory. It will come to pass. Guaranteed. World War Three is guaranteed to happen. It will come to pass. But though you still not believe, most of you people out there still not believe. Okay, still not acknowledge the prophecy. Revelation, uh, Revelation, okay, 19 and 10, the, sp the spirit of Yahweh is, is the spirit of prophecy. But by that time, you're going to know it. Okay, by that time when it all happens, you're going to know it. All right, you're going to know it when that time happens. All right, it says, uh, and it says, Ezekiel 33 and 33 says, and when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Slow, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that there have been a prophet. There have been prophet. There have been a prophet among them. But it's going to be too late by then. Uh, it's going to be too late for Mama, as Brenda Farsi said, saying, okay, it's going to be a little too late for Mama by then. Uh, it will all be too late. Uh, it is all going to be too late. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and 1 says, And then shall the righteous men stand up, uh, says, Then shall the righteous men stand up in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted and made no account of his labors. Okay, the main one who afflicted us, mainly Western any other nations who Esau Edom, he is the main, okay, person has been afflicted, afflicted the nation of Israel. Alongside the nations, you can check that that is the step Esau Edom. Uh, but guess what? Only the righteous will be able to stand up okay, and say, Hey man, we know who you are. Okay, You know what you've been doing. We know what you're up to. And then, he, he, this is how it's all going to end. This is your end, Esau. You're going to be eradicated after, after a thousand years. Your Esau, either. the Most High hates you. He hates your fucking gods. Your vessel unto dishonor. Okay. So as I work with the Solomon chapter 5 verse 1, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and have made no account of his labors. When they see, they shall be troubled with, with terrible fear, and they shall be, and they shall be amazed at the strangeness, strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. Okay, because the world's not expecting to see so-called you force. A lot of you, you actually think, okay, as the, you see being being uh, portrayed in pop culture. As something that, that is a myth, okay. So called UFOs, these are not UFOs, man. These are the shadows of your how about Shin Shai, okay. This is something that's far off, far fetched for any human being, okay. A lazy so called human being on earth to think that the, the nation of Rosharala will be delivered by, the, by, by these mobiles, and it's all going to happen. Deliverance will come, all right, and it's going to happen in our lifetime. Great deliverance. Uh, go back to that, making reference to that movie, uh, Independence Day, the second one, okay? That Edomite, that Jewish Edomite over there says, Holy Moses, okay, when he was there in, uh, in, uh, in the sea, was he you know, in, in, uh, by the ocean, they're fishing, he said, Oh, Holy Moses, you what? Know, right? Why did he have to say Holy Moses, man? Because you know, that's, that's, what, that's, that's, what, that, that's how we got delivered, man, okay? The pillar of fire by, by what? By night and a cloud, okay. The pillar of, of uh, a cloud by what? But by day. Hey, the Lord is about to make Himself known. He's revealing Himself right now by His servants, the prophets. But you stiff necked and circumcised and hearty Israelite, two thirds of you, you're still being rebellious. So, hey, prepare to meet your power. All right, prepare to meet your power. So, uh, so uh, when they see, they shall be a they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And they shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. Okay, it's far from any human beings, okay, so-called normal, okay, expectation to see deliver deliverance being granted and freedom been given unto the nation of Asherala. The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, is a sovereignty which is far-fetched. The world is not, is not expecting that at all. all right? If anything, they want to see us being oppressed forever, continuously, but it's not going to be the case. Right? It's not going to be the case. Just, 
says, uh, and they repenting and groaning for the ang for the anguish of spirit, uh, say, uh, shall say within themselves, this is what he whom whom we we had sometimes in derision, in the proverb of reproach, we fools counted his life of madness, and his end without without honor, but it's all going to change. Uh, okay, in the twinkle of an eye, all of that's going to change. Your perceptions are it's going to the perceptions of the world of the walls is about to be changed. Okay. Because cool. the Most High is about to make his return and judge the world which he made by sending Yahusha. Just you wait. Let's get Psalms 119, uh, 112. Psalms 112. This so is Psalms 1, 112 and 10. It says, uh, The wicked shall see and be grieved. Uh, the wicked, who is who's who the wicked that the Bible speaks of? Okay, Esau, Edom, okay, the so-called Caucasian men, the so-called white men you see them today, they are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Okay, and you don't need to look far, 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 far from far off. Look at the track record, the history, what they have done to the nations and what they are still doing, man. Okay. They are the wicked, and they're going to see it very soon. All right. Psalms 110, uh, Psalms 112 and verse 10. The wicked shall see it and shall be grieved. He shall, act, he shall, he shall gnash uh, with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Going to a new world order, all that's going to come to an end. You're not going to, you're not going to fulfill all your, your wicked desires, because the Most High is going to make sure that you get disappointed. The new world order will not be established, but the kingdom of heaven will be established on earth. Okay, as it says in, in the book of Matthew 6, okay, the, the Lord's Prayer, Palal Adam 1, okay, you're going to be solely be confounded and beat, and not be ashamed, okay, because the Most High says that the book of Job, he disappoints you, okay, the crafty uh, counsel of the wicked. So, so this kind of uh, new world order which the wicked elites are trying to establish is no different. They're all going to be disappointed very soon. All right. This is a Habakkuk. Uh, it's a book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. Uh, it's a Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse, uh, verse 5. Habakkuk, chapter 2. It's like a Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse, uh, instead of verse 3, says, the Most High came uh, from Timon, and the Holy One from Mount Haram, Salah. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of His praise. And, and His brightness was as, as, as the light. He had a horn coming out of His hand, and there was a hiding. As his, and there was the hiding of His power. These are, these are the chariots of Yahweh, Shemel Shah. Okay? When they open up and send forth the, the, those laser beams. Okay? Because the prophets of old have seen these chariots, man. Okay, they've seen them go back into the wilderness, man. You realize you actually saw these chariots, but you still will not believe. Uh, you still will not believe at all. Hey, so you, man, hey. Visual effects are nothing. Going back to St. John 3 and 27. If it's not given unto you from on high to receive it, you're not going to receive it. You're going to be still be blind as a duck. Uh, how do they say? Blind as a, as, a, as, a, as a pet, okay? Of which they're not actually blind. All right. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse, uh, verse chapter 3, verse 5. says, Before him went pestilence, and panning coals went forth at his feet. It says, He stood and measured the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the nations. And it says, And the everlasting mountains were scattered, and the perpetual hills did bow. Okay? This is what the Lord is going to be doing. All right? Before his return, is going to be nothing but pure pestilences. Huge, on a huge scale, disease outbreaks are going to be happening. Okay, before the, uh, the appearance of Yahweh Shai. So you better be ready. All right? You better be ready. All right? Scripture so even says, hey, oh, we are prepared to meet that, that power. Okay, it says that in the book of uh, in Amos. In fact, let's get this one in Amos. It 
Amos chapter 4 verse, uh, verse 12 says, Therefore thus saith the Lord, I will do uh, unto thee, O Israel. Thus will the effect, let me, let me step back up. Amos chapter 4 verse 10 says, I have sent among you pestilence after the men of Egypt. Your young men have, have slain with the sword, and have taken away your, ho your horses, and have made uh, the, the stink of your camp to come up unto your nostrils. Yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have overthrown uh, some of you, as, as the Mosa overthrew so Sodom and Gomorrah. And ye have, says, and ye were as fire bent plucked out of the burning. Yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. All these different judgments which have been going forth, back and forth, from Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, you Israelites, a lot of you, the majority of you, you Israelites out there, you're still being rebellious. You're still not taking heed unto the word of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh. Hey, lying children, children, children which, which, are, which are disobedient, okay, unto this, this very day as I stand here. You still being stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart as, as, as I speak now. Because the scripture says that in Ecclesiastes 1, there was no new thing under the sun. Uh, it's no new thing. Uh, so, therefore, that saith the Lord, I will do unto thee, O Israel, because it says, uh, and it says uh, therefore, thus, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee. Prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. That's what's going to happen. Okay. That's what's going to happen. He's, he's, he's about to collect. All right. He's about to make a huge collection of souls at the day of the Lord. Okay. There's going to be huge oh, uh, overloading <laughs> Okay, uh, on the system of the souls which are going to be entering the heavens at that day. The slain of the Lord will be many, not just few, but it's going to be many. There's going to be many. Isaiah, let's get this in Isaiah 66. Before I go to Amos 5 and 4, Isaiah chapter. It's Isaiah chapter 66. Right, this is Isaiah chapter 66 and uh, verse 15 says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with them with fury and his rebuke with the flames, with, uh, with flames of fire. It says, uh, for, for by fire and by the sword and by his sword with, uh, with the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. It does not say this, the saved of the Lord will be many, but the slain of the Lord will be many at that day. Okay, so that's going to be nothing but pure judgment that's going to be happening. Prepare to meet your God of Israel. So called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and your descendants among nations, you better be prepared to meet your maker. Okay, you better be prepared to meet your maker. I'm ready to die, boy. Yeah, we're gonna see how ready you are to die. Uh, we're gonna see how ready you are. I'm not afraid to die, I'm not afraid. We wanna see. Okay, Moses is gonna bring the worst fears that you have, he's gonna he's gonna bring them forth. Your worst nightmares, the Moses is gonna bring them forth. Okay. You don't know the Lord, but you're gonna know him very soon. Right. Isaiah 66 and now verse 16 says, For by fire and by his sword will, will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Not many saved of the Lord, but the slain of the Lord will be many. Right. Will be many. Amos 5. Uh, Amos 5 and now 20. Amos 5. Verse 20, 20, 24 says, but let, but let judgment run down as water, and righteousness as a mighty stream. Okay, because all this nonsense has been happening. Okay, the 40, spoken of in the book of Ecclesiastes, he said in great dignity, 
the LGBTQ community, all kind of madness, all kind of drugs, all kind of madness that is going on has been deemed as being normal. The Most High is going to bring judgment to all of that. Okay, he's going to make and bring judgment. Okay, for all, of all the workers of iniquity, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We, we, we say that they will, will not come. That's what the Lord says. All the sinners of my people shall die. All. Right? Best be assured. All means all. Alright? Because we go, go that, that one right now means what? Depopulation is easy of fantasizes. But it's going to be done by the rule and power of the Abash and Asha. Not according to what you have devised against the nations. Okay? Amos 5 and uh, verse 24 says, but let judgment run down, uh, run down as waters, but righteous, uh, and righteousness is a mighty stream. That's going to be part of the righteous judgment from, from Yahweh Bashim Asha. The world being judged for all the sins of all of his transgressions. Okay. So Matthew, not Matthew, Luke. Uh, this, this is a Luke. Okay, chapter 13 and verse 23 says, and then says, then said one unto him, Lord, are there but few uh, that be saved? Matthew chapter 20, uh, chapter 13, verse 23. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. It says, uh, for, us, for many I say unto you, verily was will seek to enter therein and shall not be able. Why? Because why? Because this one of the disciples, they were actually making sense of what of all the words which Yahweh Shah has been speaking unto them. All the words of Yahweh Shah they were taking heed unto them. That's why it's like, Lord, is that only just going to be only few that are going to be saved? Really? Yeah. You best believe two thirds are going to be cut off and die. Okay, all, out of all the nation of Israel, two thirds are going to be cut off and die. That's what has been prophesied. That's the, the decree which the Most High has decreed upon the earth to befall the nation of Israel. Only the select few will make it. Uh, not the whole nation, but only a select few will make it. Uh, it says, and this is what, this is what Yahweh Shai answered. He didn't say, nah, everybody's going to make it. Okay, everybody's going to make it. Just call on Jesus, you want to make it? No. This is what he said. He, follow, he made a follow up. Right? He says, I strive to enter in at the straight gate. For, for many I say unto you, I will seek to enter to enter in. I shall not be able. He says, says uh, when one says, says, once the master of the house is risen up and then shut up the door, and he begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, 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 open unto us. And he, and he shall answer and say unto, unto you, I know you. Says, says, I know you not once you are. So where are you from? I don't know you. Where are you from? I don't know you. Because why? Because you never preached Yahweh Shah. Okay. You, you were never in season, in, season, in season and out of season. Okay. You never told them the judgment that, that is awaiting for Esau. That there's no, there's no message promised unto Esau or Edom. All these things you shied away from them. Okay. All those things you shied away from them. Telling them what, what is the mark of the beast spoken of in the book of Revelation 13, 14. Okay. You, you never told them. Yahweh Shai says, I never knew you. What, where do you come from? Okay. Where do you come from? Right. These are the times that we're heading towards to. Serious, serious times of judgment upon the face of the planet. But people, they're thinking, hey, everything is all sweet. Everything is all nice. No, man. Things have been turned upside down. Okay. And upon the second return of our Lord and Savior, things are going to be corrected by blood. Okay? It says, it says once Luke uh, 13, or it says, uh, verse, 20, verse 25, says, it says, what? It says, it says, when once the master of the house has risen up and have shut uh, the door, and, and he begin to stand without and knock, at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open uh, unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know whence ye are. Okay, he says, I don't know you. Because, oh, Yahweh shall know, man. Beam me up, beam me up, save me too. I was there. I was out there and I was in ages once. 
I know, I know your name. Your name is Yah, is Yahu Shah, and the Father's name is Yahu. But it's gonna to be too, too late by then. You're gonna be caught off guard. Okay, you, the Most High is gonna give you up over to what unto destruction. Okay, because the Lord says about Him, Saint John, if you love me, keep my commandments. Okay, what what is been commanded to you to do? Is to, is to give one unto the unto the flock. Okay, preach the word in season and out of season. Uh, verse 26 then shall ye begin to say we have eaten and drinking in, uh, at thy presence and thou hast taught in our streets but it says uh, but he shall say I tell you I know you whence ye are depart from me all you workers of iniquity it's not gonna work in that day it's not gonna work that's why it says in 2nd verse 2nd verse 60 says then shall ye know who am I chosen then shall ye be known those who are gonna be beamed up Okay, those who are going to keep their faith even unto death, who are not going to love their lives even unto death. Hey, that's part of our, that's, that's how it all going to boil down to. Okay, these are these are my chosen. My right, second neighbors, get that second neighbors. All right, it's the book of second neighbors, chapter 16. Right, second address chapter 16, verse 1. Instead of verse 272. Second address chapter 16, verse 3 is August 72. It says, Then shall, shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. Well, right, very soon it's all going to be, be, be declared. Isaiah 46 and 10 declaring the end from the beginning. The Lord already written the script. And it's being fulfilled line by line, line by line, daily. Okay. Hey, judgment go forth, but the wicked they lay not into heart. Okay, that's that's part that's part of that's part of the deal, part of the contract that we stand up for. Okay, counting the cost. Now we know. Okay. Alright, that's part of the of our counting the cost. Alright. Second ad was all right, chapter 16. And our verse 73 says, then shall, shall, says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. It says, Yea, O, o ye, my, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days come, the days of trouble come. It says, the, the, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for, for the God of your, for, for the Most High, Yahweh, is your guide and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts save the Lord God let not your sins weigh you down and love not your, your iniquity your iniquities live up themselves guess what we're going to be you left are going to be still be in the flesh okay you want to still be going off but guess what it's all about what it's adjustment for the seven times but get gets back up okay <laughs> having that tenacious uh, spirit on you at all the times Okay, so when he says that in Revelation uh, uh, chapter 20, these are they which were not defiled with women for their virgins. That's not mean literal physical virgins, man. It means what these were not defiled, these philosophies of these nations. They kept on fighting. Okay, in their mouths were found no guile. Okay, second verse chapter 16. Alright, verse 72. Now it says, and the God of them will keep my commandments. Right? And the precepts and the precepts says the Lord says the Lord God. Says, let not your sins weigh, weigh, uh, weigh you down, and let not just your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe unto you, woe unto them that are bound with, the, with their sins. Those who don't want who don't want to repent. That's why Yahweh Shah said upon his beginning of his ministry, says, repent ye, repent ye, and believe the gospel. Right? It's all about repentance. But hey, hey, repentance is something that's too hard for, for a wicked a wicked Israelite. Okay. Two thirds cannot repent. Okay. Except the laws be put within the inward part, then will, will they be given that uh, then will they be able to repent. Until then, only repentance will, will be given unto the elect. Okay. These are the ones who are gonna have a contract heart. Okay, remember themselves for what they are. Keep uh, forever, forever for keeping uh, uh, their transgressions before them. Okay. 
So it's a woe unto, unto them that are bound with, with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, with bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns, that all men may travel to. It says, it says, it is, it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. Okay, left undressed to be, to be consumed with the fire. And the fire will come. Okay, mainly by, by all three to contemplate the misses. On top of that, okay, the chariot of Yahweh Shem Hashem. That's what, that's what you live in your sins for. If you're not repenting, you use like so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, that's what you live in your sins for. Alright? If you are not repenting, that's what you live in your sins, sins for. Alright? And the Most High is going to bring you to judgment in that day, when that day comes. Because you only, uh, you, you, you cannot uh, uh, prevent the inevitable. Okay? Hey, the return of Yahweh Shah is guaranteed. Alright? It is guaranteed. And it's all going to happen in our lifetime. Within this generation, Yahweh Shah is going to make his second return. Uh, to the shock of many. Uh, he's about to return. Uh, second verse 16. Okay, verse, uh, verse 7 to 8. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. Uh, and that's how it's going to be very soon. Uh, Search for the sword to the sword. Jeremiah 15. You know what? Let me start. Let me start with Mark. Let me start with Mark. Let's start here first. Alright, it's the book of Mark. Chapter 1. Uh, verse 14 says, Now after John was put into prison, Yahweh came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of the Most High, and saying, The time is fulfilled, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel, the, what? the good news. Okay, the good tidings, that's the good news, the good news towards who? The Israelites. Okay, you Hebrew, Israelites, you so called Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans, you are the Israelites that this good news is for. Okay. That you should, you should repent. Yahweh shall already made the sacrifice. All you gotta do is just submit, return unto the Lord. Okay? Return unto Him and be saved. Believe the gospel, the time is fulfilled. Okay? All things are, uh, things are being fulfilled. Uh, the prophecies are, are unfolding. Okay? Things are happening. Okay? The prophecies are not stagnant. Not at all. They have never been stagnant. Ecclesiastes uh, uh, chapter 3. Everything is a time and a season, and we and we in that time, that season upon at which the Lord is about to make His return. Okay, and, ex and execute judgment upon all flesh. All right, Jeremiah. So I okay. Mark chapter one verse fifteen, and saying the kingdom, saying saying the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of of the Most High is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Don't, don't just say, oh, I know, I know, these, these are the men of the Lord. I know, but guess what? You, you're not doing shit. You're still the same old bastard. It says, believe the gospel. How do you believe? Your bio, hey, where your work said. Faith and works goes hand in hand. How can you say you believe the gospel, but you're not doing shit? You're not observing the Sabbath. Okay. You're not keeping the basic dietary laws. If you, if you are a man, you, you, you're not being circumcised. How can you say you believe the gospel then? And the Most High fucking hates hip hypocrites. Right? May, may, let's go back to me, uh, Jeremiah 15. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel must be before me, yet my mind will not be towards these people. Uh, these are the ones who, who fail to repent and to believe the gospel. Right? When the, the, when the prophets of the Lord rose up at best times before fucking hell uh, broke loose, right? When the door of repentance was open unto you, hey, second Edward says, the same shall know it by pain and by death, right? Because, uh, says, uh, and it shall come to pass, it's like a second, it's like you. Jeremiah chapter 15 and 1 says, and he said unto, unto me, says, then said the Lord unto me, 
the most of them is to be from yet my man you know, could not uh, be toward these people, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? And then shall thou say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, such as for death to death, and such for the sword to the sword, and such for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. Right? It says, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heavens, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. This gonna, these are the things that are going to come to pass. To those who fail to repent. Right? Because the Lord does not require too much of us. He says, look man, we have these righteous acts. Okay, you keep them to the best of your ability. Be not righteous over much. Why should thou destroy thyself and die before, die before your time? It's not too much that has been required of us to do. Right? But it's just the, the setup of the system that has made you Israel to, you are, to be into folly. To be lazy minded to, to lack true spirituality. That connection between, between us and the Most High. So I keep between us and Mosa through the mediator, Yahweh Shai. All of that has been cut off to the Lord of Israelite. That's why death will come. Right? That's why death will come. So you can't say you, you, you were never told. Uh, you just cannot say that, that you were never warned. The warning is actually right now. Right? It is right now. So you better be prepared to meet your power. 